Hello, it's me, Kent Peterson Money Talk. And I'm here with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about monetizing your gift and how can you do that. First of all, what is your gift? What kind of skills do you have? Can your skills be used for service? And how can your skills be used for service? Let's say you are a martial artist. Maybe you're at a black belt in martial arts or whatever belt you need to be to be an instructor. We're gonna say you you were an instructor level. Sometimes I wish I would have stayed longer in martial arts. I could have probably taught martial arts as a side hustle. I wouldn't ever taught bullies though, that's not Cobra Kai. Why would I teach bullies martial arts? So they, they could be better bullies? I don't think so. Screw you creeps. <laughs> But anyway, if you were good at martial arts and you, you could like teach a class with, on martial arts and you make money that way, maybe you're good at fishing garage doors, you can make money. I mean, we all got our own gifts that we're good at. Fibers. It's a good place to make money if you're like really talented. Let's start with videos or YouTube videos, for example. If you're good at making thumbnails or, or editing videos, because there's a lot of YouTubers out there that don't edit their own videos and they don't have their own thumbnails. Because even I, sometimes I'll have like people, I'll pay people to make a thumbnail for me. Or I, I did a couple times how somebody edited my YouTube video. All of y'all do it all the time because it's, it's pretty pricey. But as my channel gets bigger, get big, I'll probably, it'll probably be more often. But anyway, if you're good at adding those thumbnails, not, not adding thumbnails, but you're good at adding videos, you can make quite a bit of money with that on Fiverr. And Fiverr is also a good place for writers, pretty much. But it's also a good place for the people that edit writing. So maybe somebody want to have like their book published, but you want to edit their, their writing first. And this is where Fiverr comes in. This is where being a book editor comes in. Because obviously I do this. I'll pay somebody to like edit my writing. So they clean it up. Then obviously it should be good to publish. And if you're like a really good book editor, people will likely come back and want more of their books edited. And you pretty much make your own price. So I think they're overpriced. I had one person that paid, that charged me a lot of money for the same work somebody else charged me for like $73. So it varies between person to person. The one that paid, the, the one that paid me less actually did a better job than the one that paid me more. So sometimes that does happen. If you're good at making book covers, like ebooks, some people want ebook covers for the ebooks. If you're good at it, that's the way you can make money. But of course, then there's a writing, and this is what I do. If you're if you have that good imagination, you make money become a writer. And that's pretty much what I do. I'm actually am a writer. I do write books on the side because I have that imagination. Just like how the Arrowverse have their own universe, and so does the MCU. Because <laughs> Avengers are like in the same universe as what was that Age of the Shield? They're like, they're in the same universe. So is the Flash, Superman, Lois, and Arrow. They're all in the same universe. And I pretty much make my own stories that are like in the same universe. Like I just made another one. 
The last book I made was called Cover Asian Kent, and that's in the same universe as Nightfall. And I'll try to remember to put it down here so you can check it out. So I always had that good imagination. So I figured, may I can use that to make money. But for some of y'all, y'all probably aren't book writers. But this might be a gift. Maybe you're good at playing music. I'm not really going to play. <laughs> but maybe some of y'all are good at playing music. It may not even be a guitar. Whatever instrument you're good at playing, you can make money playing. You can make money teach people how to play certain instruments. Or you can make money making your own songs. It's a lot easier now to make money and playing your own songs. Because obviously, if you're good at playing music, you know what you, know what you could do to make money? You're looking at right now, YouTube. Make sure you, you're the one that created music, of course, because obviously, YouTube is like really strict when it comes to copyright. So you make your own music. Obviously, it's not a copyright if it's your music that you made. And who knows, it produce, some producer might like your video. They might like what they hear, and they might try to get in contact with you. <laughs> So you gotta love YouTube, man. It can put your foot in the door. But of course, some of us, our gifts, we're probably not good at playing music. I'm definitely not good at singing. If I would, I would, I would have made money off it. Some of us probably don't have skills to be on Fiverr, to make money from Fiverr. We're definitely not good at martial arts, but we might be funny. We might be entertaining. And that's when you two come in. You two, TikTok. Those those two are like good for entertainment. Some people just make a lot of money just being funny. And there's probably a bit of YouTube that YouTubers out there that are funny. They get like so many views. Sniper was pretty funny. She gets so many views on her channel. Just for being funny. <laughs> There's so many more. We're all corner bridge. I mean, the guy is funny. He talked about reasons to live and not to live in states. He put humor into his videos, though. So he makes it interesting. He makes it funny. He, he even cracked jokes about certain places. One thing when he did get to Alaska... It did surprise me though. He did say Alaska had like a pretty high crime rate. Which surprised me because Alaska, the population is so low. For its size, even for its size, it is so low. Because Alaska is like the, the biggest state, but has less than a million people in that live there. You would think that it would be like one of the least violent, it would have like one of the least crimes. But the corner bridges, it's the opposite. <laughs> so he does talk about reasons to live in like certain states. He'll get like 10 reasons not to live here or 10 reasons to move here. I mean, the guy is funny. I'm not subscribed to his channel, but I do like to listen to him sometimes. And the thing with YouTube, there's other things you can do with it. You can make like mini series, like mini, like short films on YouTube. I mean, I was going to do like short martial art films, but of course, I tell y'all the story about my friends. They pretty much ditched me, guys. Because I even had like four, four scripts written out I was going to do. It was like back in 2011. I also do like four short martial arts films. Of course, it never went anywhere. YouTube never seen it. But don't have to be martial arts films. It can be like short clips. 
It could be like short films she could do. Or maybe you could do like a mini series. Obviously, some of these skills that you have, like directing and all that, it's going to require more people. But if you're really gifted, it could work out. I thought my scripts were pretty good, though. I thought it was recreated, but the other guy didn't think it was. He was one of my friends. But I say screw him. He wished he was me. <laughs> but it's all good. Things happen for a reason. Because I don't think if I would have got into the, into the YouTube, into the martial arts industry with YouTube, then we would have never had Kent Peters and Money Talk. I do like talking about money. I really do. I enjoy it. I enjoy helping y'all. Showing y'all ways to make money, save money, invest in money. Pretty much anything to do with money. And I do enjoy doing the giveaways every once in a while. I, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to give away a hundred dollar tip to either a waitress or a delivery person. We'll, we'll see what happens. So the question is, can you make money off your gift? It depends what your gift is. If you're a good painter, you could make money off it. Maybe you're good at filming videos. You, you can make money off it. You might be good at writing scripts. I say go for it. <laughs> if you're really good at writing scripts, I say start small. Start with a YouTube channel. And if other people like Hollywood see your videos, they might like you. You might get that call. That's what I was hoping would happen to me when I was doing a mar when I was going to do a martial art films. But it's all good. Like I said, I enjoy talking about money on this channel. Inside martial arts is pretty dangerous. It would have been like really dangerous to, to do out what I wanted to do. But I also want to be careful. I was always going to be careful. That was the plan. So I guess I went over everything I want to talk about. Just make sure that whatever your gift is, you, you find a way to monetize it. If you're able to find ways to monetize it, I say go for it. And now since we're at the end of my video, I'm just going to tell you something. Today I went to the third store and I saw this typewriter. I don't know much about typewriters, but I figured I was going to try to flip it. So in the third store, it was worth $20. So I figured, let's see how much it costs on eBay. I saw that it was over $400. Somebody was trying to sell it for over $450. Another person, I think it was like $200 something. So I'm thinking to myself, how, many, how much are people willing to pay for? Should I go to the Austin and see how much people bid for these tight riders? I couldn't find any bids. Okay, how much did people sell this for? So I went to sew and I couldn't find anything. So that tells me it's probably not even a good buy. So I, I didn't even buy it. Because obviously if I did buy that tight rider, the purpose of me buying it is so I can fluff it. So I can make more money than what I paid for. I mean, if I would have saw like, that somebody paid $300 for it, I would have bought that typewriter. <laughs> but because I didn't see anything where anybody bought a typewriter, I couldn't find nothing. So I didn't go for it, guys. I mean, I thought about looking at Facebook Marketplace, but I don't know what they show items that you bought, that people bought for. I mean, I'll look into it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Like this, like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. The more likes I get, the more YouTube will recommend my video to people. And if you really love my video. Just join a Kent Peters and Money Talk Club by subscribing to this channel. And with that being said, have a good weekend. Bye for now.